So the worst thing that is going to happen is we get stuck. Can you guys get together? Get together for a photo, another photo. A little bit closer. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, I might have messed up. I might have messed up. Oh no. This is a lesson in planning your path and not getting distracted on trivial tasks like taking thumbnail pictures, right? Come on, girl, you got this, Bertha. That's what we named her, by the way. Who needs Diffie Lock? Not this old girl. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. Can we just call it Expeditions? Because that is a mouthful. So, the game just fully released on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch yesterday. And as I feared, the reviews aren't too great. Honestly, I think the issue is so many people associate Expeditions with SnowRunner. And I know it's called a Mudrunner game, but it is very different, but with a similar principle. So I think if you go into this with an open mind, knowing it's not the long hauls, it's not pavement, it is scout runs and you have to prepare for your missions. It is very planned and methodical. You have to get the right supplies and it's very chill and relaxing for the most part. So we are going to do some more gameplay on the Little Colorado map today. Last episode, we unlocked the free roam so we can freely roam around the map. But we have two more expeditions, heavy shipping and earthy vibes. We're going to do heavy shipping today. One of our forwarders is stuck in a swamp, so we'll have to deploy and evacuate the truck. This is a heavy truck, so you'll need a powerful vehicle to pull it out and take it to the outpost. So take this into account when planning to deploy. So we need a powerful vehicle. We're going to have to be towing today. Something I have not done a lot of, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. It says it's easy difficulty, but I don't always believe that. 721 is our distance. We have height differences and we need an off-road truck. It says two trucks, but do we really need two trucks? I don't know. Let's try completing this with just one off-road truck. It might be a mistake, but we can always come back again. Now... I did sell my duplicate vehicles because of the package that I bought. I had duplicate vehicles. The Pioneer Pack comes with the SE version of these. So I now have 251,000 smackaroos in my account. So we can pimp out pretty much any of these. But as for off-road, should we take the Step 310 or our Tuz? This guy is really big. Maneuvering is not going to be easy. I say let's take our Tuz. And do we need to customize it? You know what? We don't really have anything to lose if we don't buy anything. So I am going to go against the advice that I give. And we're not going to take anchors or jack screws or extra fuel. Because honestly, when I've been in this map, I know where this truck is stuck. And it's not too far from the outpost. So... We're gonna risk it. We're not gonna bring anything. We're just gonna bring our little naked truck here. And we're not gonna take any team members either. We're just gonna take our Tuz and a prayer. Wait a minute, it says go to the lake. Oh, it is down there. All right, that's what I thought. So let's plot our path. I kinda know where I'm going, but for those who are new to the game, let me just Kind of show how we're going to go. I think down through here. Probably down through here. It's actually farther than I thought. I'm kind of wondering if I should have brought some anchors with me. You know what? If I'm towing something, it could be handy to have some anchors. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. I don't have anything. I thought maybe I had some anchors stowed over here, but I don't. So the worst thing that is going to happen is we get stuck and we have to do this a second time. I mean, there are worse things, right? That's not that bad. I 
I think this is fun, so, you know, not that much of a punishment. <laughs> Alright, can we make this turn? Come on, girl. I forgot to look what tires we have on this. Oh, dear. I think that is a... Actually, I can't tell if that's a drop-off over there. We're just going to go the way that I know works, which is here. We might take a bit of damage right here. We're going to go nice and easy. Just give her a little throttle. And we are stuck. Turn on our four-wheel. That'll get us out. Note to self, we could have gotten down that way. If I wanted, I could pop my drone out. And that'll help me get a better idea of the terrain. But I'm just being lazy. I do see a tree right here, so if we need a winch point, hopefully we can use that. Look at all these cacti. Let's just run them over right now. Back her up. The turning radius on this Tuz does leave a bit to be desired. Let's get it angled this way. I think that's going to be probably a decent angle. Okay, let's back her up. Trigger our mission here. Let's put her in park. Now we have to use our winch to pull out the truck from the swamp. After the winch is secured, turn on the engine of the towed truck. They make it sound so easy. Probably right there. We're going to turn on the engine of the winched truck. There we go. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a sharp turn. Let's get some slack in here. Can we make this turn? Alright, we're going to try one other thing. We are going to pop it into low, turn on the diffy lock, see if that's going to help us. Let's back up. Oh yeah, we're just gonna pedal to the metal. <laughs> Come on, girl, you got this, Bertha. That's what we named her, by the way. If you missed that episode. All right, we gotta swing her a little bit wide here and get around this tree. Let's try to keep our momentum. We don't have much slack in our chain here. Hopefully we'll be okay. Look at this. Now this, ooh, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Pull it if we can. I just keep pulling on the winch a little bit. Well, we got it up the hill. Actually, wait, I almost forgot. We need a thumbnail pick. <laughs> what do you think? That's pretty good, right? On the road again. Oh. Oh dear. Don't get stuck. Let's get a little bit of slack. I'm just going to release the truck a bit. We have a couple trees. And okay, this. Oh, I might have messed up. I might have messed up. Oh no. I should have gone up that way. I don't think there's any way I can bring it up that hill. Um, here's what we are going to do. We're going to release our winch. I was paying too much attention to worrying about the thumbnail. <laughs> that parking brake is honestly fairly impressive. Now, let's open our winch again. Can we make this work? I screwed up. The only place we can attach it to is right there in the center of the body there. We are going to try to pull this truck towards us. Oh, this is a bad idea. Here's what we are going to do now. We're going to try to get behind the truck and pull it back. This is a lesson in planning your path and not getting distracted on trivial tasks like taking thumbnail pictures, right? 
Well, let's get our winch. And we are going to try our best to pull it this way. We're going to bring this bad boy back. I think we can go up this way. You know what? I just had a wild thought. Can you imagine trying to play this game drunk? Especially once they release multiplayer. Oh, I think it could be a hoot. Not that I would do that. I mean, come on, I'm wholesome. <laughs> I think that's gonna work. Let's get our winch. Go to the hitch. And now we can attach it to the front of that truck. That is what we want. That one right there. Who needs Diffy Lock? Not this old girl. Bertha's got it covered. He just needs a little four-wheel drive action and a nice path to the destination. Swing her wide. Swing her wide. Swing low. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's also a good picture. Can you guys get together? Get together for a photo. Another photo. A little bit closer. That's, that's pretty good. All right, I'm ready to go. There's our destination. Giddy up, Bertha. And expedition complete. Recover the truck less than two times, a thousand dollar bonus, take less than 200 damage. I don't think we took any damage because I'm the world's best backwards driver. I'm just kidding. What movie is that from? Anyhow, we got our 1900 smackaroos. We didn't even need to spend money on anchors or jack screws. And our total here is 3400 with our bonuses. That's pretty awesome. And just a reminder for those new to this game, if you don't want to go directly back to your headquarters, if you want to free roam, take a look at the option down below. You can press B or escape on keyboard and continue free roaming, even if you don't have free roam unlocked. But we are going to go back to headquarters. Let's see if we get to keep that truck. I don't think we do. We now have four of our five expeditions on Little Colorado finished. And we have only one more expedition. Let's go back to our garage. No, I did not get to keep the truck. Speaking of trucks, let's go to the truck store. I don't think there's anything we can buy. We own all of these. And the rest are going to be locked. So you have to complete all of these expeditions if you want to buy these trucks. I really would like to get, where's the one that looks like a loaf of bread? Yeah, this one. <laughs> you know that's why it's named that. I want that one. It looks super tippy, but it looks like good fun. We have a bandit. And we need this guy too. It's like Bertha's big brother. It's a heavy truck. I don't have any heavy trucks yet. We got the Warthog, the Yar, so many fun vehicles. But for right now, we are not going to buy anything more because we need to complete some more missions. If you enjoy expeditions as much as I do and you like watching me play, I don't know why you do, but I thank you so much. Please consider subscribing. And if you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment down below and I will see you next time.